Jack, can you clarify about this, the sand, was it sandpaper, was it sticky plaster? We... Uh, the, uh, the, re the release that's, uh, that's gone out today confirms that it was sandpaper. So, yeah, so, so is it, it a normal, normal procedure to have sandpaper in the kit bags? Where did this sandpaper come from? It's not, I'm, I'm not sure that it's a normal procedure, but I, I do understand that sandpaper is often in uh, the dressing room or in players' kit bags uh, in relation to looking after and taking care of the sand. So that might be Sorry? So that might be the, the, again, the release, I'm not going to go into the detail, but the release uh, that we have provided today goes into specific detail on the reasons why uh, the players have been reported and the basis on which the sanctions have been, been offered to the players. As I said last night, Darren Lehman's the coach. Darren Lehman uh, was not in any way involved in the incident. Ian Roy has satisfied himself on that and he continues as coach under his contract. James, can you call it cheating now that they've had a sanction? I think, I think under, under the code it specifically refers to uh, these practices uh, in, in which we have uh, made the charges and offered the sanctions as, uh, as cheating. So I think uh, people want to use their own words, uh, but cheating is certainly one of them that is probably appropriate in circumstances. What is James, you've had James. further investigation now. I'm going to ask the same question I asked last night. Is there concern now that it may not just be the one incident? Well, I don't think there's any any evidence that we've we've seen or heard in the investigation in Ian's work. Uh, clearly, the primary focus of his investigation is, is very much about uh, the events of Cape Town, but also uh, his his discussions and his responsibility was to ask questions more broadly. And uh, I guess on that. Mike, just to take that a step further, um, if there are credible allegations or, or suggestions to the contrary, we have a responsibility to investigate them. So it doesn't necessarily stop here, but at the same time, uh, through the investigation thus far, we're satisfied um, that it does appear to be an isolated incident, but at the same time, uh, if there are credible allegations or other suggestions, then we have powers under the code to investigate and take it further. And with your experience, don't you find it hard to believe that the bowlers are not in, are not aware of what's going on, considering they were to try and get the thing to reverse? Well, again, I'm only relying on the, uh, the work of the investigation and the comments in, as I said last night, uh, it's found that only three players were aware of the plan.